Hi there. Welcome, come on in. Take a seat. Get yourself nice and comfortable. How are you today? That's great. So, you're here for a hearing test today, is that right? And what we're going to do is we're going to look at frequency rather than volume today. So we're going to do that in a couple of different ways. The first thing we're going to use are these. I have here a set of tuning forks from a very low frequency to a slightly higher frequency. We'll be playing these in each ear and we'll be looking at how strongly you can hear those and if at any point you can't. After that, what we'll be doing is putting some headphones on your head to cover your ears and we will do a bleep test or beep test. Sounds will play through the headphones and you have to tell me when you can hear it and then in which ear you can hear it and then we'll spend some time just playing higher and lower frequencies and you need to tell me in which ear you can hear the lowest frequency. How does that sound? Great. Right, what I'd like to do just first, please, is just take a look in each of your ears. This is to just check there's no inflammation, no wax buildup, anything like that, anything that's going to get in the way of delivering a perfect set of results. This bit just goes inside your ear and with a little light I just take a look. So is that okay? Fantastic, so this side first. Ready? Okay, if there's any pain or discomfort let me know and I'll stop, okay? Here we go. So. That's fantastic. Almost done. Thank you. One shiny eardrum. This side next. Ready? Okay, here we go. Again, just taking a look. Almost done. Fantastic. That's great. So, two shiny eardrums. That's really good. So what that means is, any results that we get, we know are about right, okay? Are you ready to start with these tuning forks? Wonderful. I've got the computer here, and I will be tapping away, just with any results that are interesting, anything that I might look at, in a little detail later, but it's nothing to worry about, okay? So I have eight here. We're going to start with the lowest frequency. I'll strike the tuning fork, play it to one ear, and then again, play it to the other. And I'm looking for you to tell me how it sounds, okay? Can you pick up the sound? Does it sound nice and strong in those ears? Things like that, okay? Wonderful. So, first one. This ear first. Ready? Okay, here we go. Is that okay? Great. So, this side next. Here we go. Okay, so having heard that in both ears, is it a strong sound? Is it something that you could hear clearly? Great. So moving on now, this one's a second, a slightly higher frequency, but still nice and comfortably low. Okay, this ear first again, ready?
Is that okay? Okay, and this side. Okay, so how did that sound? Strong in both ears? Could you tell the difference in the frequency between this one and the one before? Great. So, the third one, you'll notice they get smaller as the frequency gets higher. So again, slightly higher. This ear first. Ready? that side and then this side. Ready? So, in terms of strength of sound, how did that sound in both ears? Halfway point, the fourth one, again, slightly higher frequency, again, in this ear first. Ready? Here we go. Is that okay? Okay. And in this ear? So, this one I think jumps up a little, frequency-wise. How did that sound in each of those ears? Nice and strong still? Okay, good. Number five, and the frequencies continue to get a little higher. This side first. Ready? Okay, here we go. How's that? Okay, great. This ear next. So again, thinking about the strength rather than that volume, how was that in each ear? Was that still Easy to hear, pretty similar in both the ears. Wonderful, okay. Number six, smaller once again, slightly higher frequency. This ear again, ready? Okay, here we go. Was that? Would you like that one again? Okay. Okay. And this side, ready? We'll do that one again for this ear, just so you've had two, two the same. So what are we thinking? This was 
slightly trickier to hear, not as strong as the others, or the same. Okay, let's make a quick note of that. Just for my notes later. Number seven. Slightly higher again. You know the drill by now. This side first. Ready? Okay, here we go. How was that? Okay. And then on this side. Ready? So just once each side that time. So how did this one compare to the one before? Okay. No problem. And then finally, the smallest of them all, number eight. This side first, and then this side. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Again with that one. Okay. And the other side, we'll do this one again twice. So how was that one compared with the previous one? Let's make a note of that one. Yeah. Okay. What I'd like to do now is lastly for the tuning forks, just play you the lowest frequency and the highest frequency and I'd like you to tell me if you hear a difference in how strongly they come through to those ears, okay? So I'll do this one, both sides, and then this one, both sides, and then we'll compare, okay? Great. We'll start with the lowest frequency first. Ready? Okay. one this side there we go so comparing the two for me please which of the two was the easiest to hear, sounded the strongest? Mm -hmm. Okay. And how did that higher frequency one sound? Did you prefer hearing the lower frequencies or the higher frequencies? That's great. So, what we'll do is we'll just give it a few seconds just to clear those ears of those sounds 
and then we'll pop the headphones on and we'll start that beep test. Do you have any questions for me at all about the tuning forks or about that first half of the tests? Mm -hmm. Okay, no, it's absolutely fine. So, have you worn big headphones before? Have I had an appointment with the audiologist where you do the beep test, or is this brand new? Okay, so what will happen is, we'll put these on your head in a moment, and then rather than hearing my voice as it is now, you'll hear it through a microphone on the computer. So it will sound a little different, but you'll still be able to hear me. And then what we do is we play beeps through the headphones. Sometimes in both ears, sometimes the left, sometimes the right. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. Once we've done those tests, we'll have one more set where I play you a higher and a lower. And you tell me which ear the lower frequency was in. Okay? There's a lot of information there, but I'll explain again as we go, okay? Okay, so time to put these on. Once I've put them on, feel free to move them around, get them comfortable. Okay, here we go, ready? Okay, put these on so they're nice and comfortable. Yes, well done. Last one. 
Okay. Everything okay? Let's give your ears a couple of seconds to get used to hearing regular sound again rather than computer sound. Okay, so how was that? Any differences in hearing between those lower frequencies and the higher frequencies? Specifically between the very lowest and the very highest that you heard? Yes, so they sound very different to the tuning forks, but again, there's a very wide spectrum of frequencies to listen to, so we like to cover as many as we can in the time that we have. So do you have any questions for me at all? Okay. Well, we have here a very comprehensive set of results. So I made notes of everything that happened with the tuning forks. The computer was making notes as we went along with the beep test. What we'll do is we'll go away and put all of those together and we should be able to build a picture of where you sit frequency wise. So those ones that are very strong in those ears and those ones that either already do or may soon begin to escape that hearing. You can then look at that going forward with an audiologist, a doctor, things like that. And if nothing else, they're on your medical records from there on. Should anything change? Should you want to come and do this again? Should you think there may be a difference in those ears or the hearing? Then please just get back in touch, give us a call, and we'll be more than happy to see you again. But in the meantime, Thank you so much for coming today, for being very patient and doing so well in all of my tests. Take care. Bye-bye.